quite interesting so you can see this fruit there It's a small little thing to the bridge, to the bridge you go to the other side. You can see the map. You guys can see this is Saturday morning. It's the amount of activity here. Here at the beginning of the park, so we got a bridge here. That's where everything starts. Okay, so we got a small team now fetching some uh, garbage right here deep in the park and all the garbage will be deposited into that uh, truck so as you can see we cleaning now things around here end of october november okay all we cleaning up you can see people running there so there's a park run today Very alive. So yeah, this is the type of stuff we finding in the park. Truck coming. The truck cleaning this stuff in places that yo, look at it. There you go. It's no joke. Look at the amount. Look at that. Crazy. See what community does together. An idea. Great work, eh? Amazing. Shots crazy. More doesn't stop. <laughs> sure, amazing. So while this work is being developed, people are just completely believe is just walking, eh? Sure. There you go. That's how busy the park is on a Saturday. Yep. So they basically what they do, they go around the park and they just uh, take the garbage. That's that's what we do in order to keep things functional and running for you guys to enjoy the park. There you go. Doing the behind the scenes. Thank you so much guys for the wonderful work, eh? I'm Mike and I'm part of a community-led initiative called the Friends of Delta Park. And basically it's just residents from around the area, from uh, Blegari, from Craigle Park, Victory Park, coming sort of coming together and basically in September we started just Trying to get our park looking a little bit cleaner we found that there was lots of rubbish lots of litter um, recycling and things like that that start getting collected uh, in the forests and in the and in the, the, the areas where we want to be able to spend time with our families with our dogs with each other so we kind of um, came up with an idea that we were going to do a community-led sort of cleanup and we've been doing one sort of once a month uh, we've got volunteers Guys bringing big trucks, um, there's a community member here who's got access to a truck and we've taken 10, it's a 4 ton truck, we've taken uh, 10 loads out of the park so far in the last sort of 5 months 
We've got another load here today, so we can call it our, our 11th load um, of, of rubbish that we're getting out of this park. And yeah, basically we just want to make the park cleaner, better, safer for all. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing here today. Community uh, getting involved, all residents, welcome. Lucky from City Park Service, City Park Service um, we're with the guys from Delta Park. What we usually do on the ground is helping the guys um, to tackle some of the stuff on the ground, clear, clearing, uh, eradicating some alien, alien plants and taking some of, uh, some of the stuff out of the Delta Park. My name is Chris Becker, I'm a resident of Craigle Park. Uh, I've, been, I've been part of this movement where residents have been getting involved in, in cleaning up the park. We've been active for the last six months or so and it's been great because we've had lots of residents turning up to help us with cleanups and fence fixes and various, various initiatives around the park. But bigger than that, it's grown into something where we're getting support from the city. So City Parks is here to support us. Yeah, generally just a movement where residents are reclaiming their park. You can see also the trails. Place, let me just show you guys quickly. Yeah, this is kind of the scene of our first um, operation that happened in September last year. This fence was basically all flat. You can see all these dump holes are new. This fence was sort of re-erected. Uh, this is the Florence uh, Bloom Bird Sanctuary area. So it's actually a protected area and it's supposed to try and keep the ecology all alive in this in the city. So a lot of birds that nest in here, birds of prey as well. Um, so this fence was flat. There was about 40, 40 or 50 guys in here. They were, uh, we found tons of copper cables. Um, so, and there was a whole lot of copper cable theft in the area. That's cleaned this whole area up with the community. All got involved. We, this is where we started filling up those truckloads of, um, of stuff. A lot of it was burnt, a uh, housing of copper cables. Um, anyway, that, this fence was erected in September. We haven't had anybody move back and we haven't had any uh, copper cable theft in the, in the area surrounding the park since then. So you can see a lot of people now also cleaning the park, so it's a different um, initiative. But that's great, you see, what you can do with the youngsters. You can see people there cleaning the fruit. Sprite, I mean. Hi, I'm Karen Askew. I'm part of the Craigle Parks Residents Association. Um, we're here today for a cleanup. Um, the kids are use, um, earning community hours. So we've got about 30 girls from Kingsmead College and quite a lot from Del, um, De La Salle cleaning up the river today. We also have a team from Babele, Africa, who um, we organize twice a week to clean up the river on a regular basis. They're doing the heavy lifting. And yeah, general community that have come out today to help clean up the river. Um, we have a spray running through our neighborhood which we love and we want it clean and we want people to use the river a lot so yeah we're here to help the environment and keep our suburb beautiful. Okay there you go this is what we caught just now is it the, um, the event with the kids. Sure look at this incredible and of course meanwhile also fixing the, the pothole that was here you see the the tar bag here yeah so we make things around here